Hi guys, it's me Carrie, and this is the last of my caboodles of what's in my bag. I know, it's a bummer, but I'm really, really, really glad that I saved these caboodles from when I bought them in the 80s or 90s. These, None of these are, you know, the recent ones that were re-released. There's my Vivi, by the way. Hi, Venus. You gonna say hi? Vivi. Viv. Vivi. No? Okay. She might say hello as the video is going on. But um, anyway, I'm really glad that I held on to these. Obviously, as you guys know, I have issues with collecting slash hoarding slash not getting rid of things and purging what I should. But um, my caboodles are something that I'm really glad I held on to. So this one, if I'm remembering correctly, should be a lot of my lippy products. It is not counting my lip balms. That is in a whole separate section. I also have a bunch of lippies that are not in a container, but I believe everything in this caboodle is lip related. You can see how often I actually dig into them and use them because again, I collect way too much. Okay, that is the inside. Hi Viv, are you watching? Are you watching mama's video? You're in mama's video, that's pretty cool, huh? If you're not entertained by 15-year-old female cats, I apologize, but she just always entertains me. This is going to be a mirror, so we're going to try to do this in such a way. Hmm. No, there's no way I can cover it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Mm -hmm. Hold, please. Okay, there we go. Just put a pair of pants over the mirror because I don't want to show that. Bye, Viv. <laughs> All right, so this is the top section of this lippy box. First thing we have here is this NARS product. This was a gift from either Ulta or Sephora on one of my birthdays. The color is... Oh, shit. This is like my least favorite part of filming is the fact that I can't focus and I can't read shit anymore. It's really, really gotten bad. Okay, let's see. Let's try really hard. I don't want to spend the day trying to read labels, but come on. We can't not even get this first one. Seriously? Focus. Son of a bitch. Focus, please. No, it's not going to focus. Okay, so I'm going to have to look off camera. You can look at this in the meantime. Yeah, I can't even read this without a magnifying glass. My eyes are so shot. But anyway, it's an ours lippy. Then we have this little... Uh, doo -doo -doo. This is a Tarte Lippy, again, from either um, Sephora or um, Ulta as a birthday gift because I don't buy expensive high-end products. This is a different color of my world's favorite lipstick, which is the Revlon Lip Butters. Let me get the whole name. Come on. This is really, like, ridiculous. Okay, there we go. This one is number 80, Strawberry Shortcake. They're Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. My favorite, favorite, favorite lippy in life is this product in the color Sugar Plum. I have like two backups. It's amazing. I can never find it in stores anymore, but they do still have it on Amazon and probably other secondary outlets. But I'm obsessed with it. I didn't even remember that I bought a different color. That one must have still been in the stores. Then I have these three... NYC uh, City Proof Twistable Lip Crayons. And yeah, I'm not even going to bother with colors, guys. If you want to know a specific color, just let me know and I can find out and post in the comments. Actually, these are colors. This one is a primer. I have this, I like to say Hi Carrie, but I'm sure it's pronounced Hikari. And this is a Cabernet, a lipstick in Cabernet. I have these two Alme lippies. They look the same. Did I get these for free somewhere? I must have. Because I wouldn't have bought two of the same color. Yeah, I think that says... Um... Okay, there we go. Just Plum, number 100. I think those are both the same. I don't know if they came in a twin pack or what, but yeah. There's two of those. Let me have these sky here. 
This is a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. This was a freebie from Bare Minerals. It's a weird hole in there. Um, when Bare Minerals used to give you, if you had a Bare Minerals store in your area or if you placed an order from Bare Minerals, you got a free gift for your birthday. I no longer have a store in my area. I don't buy their products, so therefore no more gifts for me. Boo-hoo. But I got that one year. Then I have a pencil sharpener in here that came with the caboodles. I have these. This was another gift from uh, one of the aforementioned stores because, again, I don't buy Nars. It's too expensive for me, and I would never have bought this dark reddish color because that's way too dark for me. Um, that'll be given to somebody I can share at some point. This is HIP, High Intensity Pigments, and that is a lip pencil. Oh, no, it's a lip brush. Okay, I can't even remember. A lot of this stuff was either gifted to me from friends in friend mail packages or stuff that I got for free, you know, from promotions and stuff. This is an e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. I have actually used this. Wow. I think this was from the Dollar Tree. Um, the color is Pink Lemonade, which you can't read, but I can, so that's good. Then I have this old, old, old lip brush. I don't even remember where I got this, but I love it because you pop it out like this and you flip it around and it goes like this and then out comes your lip brush. I just think that's really cool. And I feel like I had another one in a different color at one point, but maybe I lost it or something. Maybe gold or silver. And then I have these two. These are Kate from um it was a kate moss line of rimmel london lipsticks this one's number 41 i cannot read the name and this one is number 45 really pretty colors and i have this makeup forever again a free gift some kind of a lippy i'm not even gonna deal <laughs> i have this mark jacobs one again some kind of free gifty and that reddish color that is going to be way too dark for me that's why it's still sitting here and another bare minerals lippy in this color which is called moxie and then we have a another nars product and that is a lip crayon if i'm remembering remembering correctly i can speak there it is let me now magically get this closed with one hand, being my left hand, no less, my non-dominant hand. Not bad. Go me. All right. Then in this one, we have this product. Oh, excuse me, princess. Are you climbing? <laughs> my cat is climbing in the closet right now. Can you see her little butt on the right side? Let me see if I can zoom. Oh, she's so naughty. Venus. I love her so much. <laughs> anyway, we have this product. This is um, Vintage by Jessica Leapskind. This must have come in an Ipsy bag or something or been given as a gift from a friend, but that's a really pretty gloss. This is so old, guys. So, so, so old. There was a product called In Condition Lip Blush that Color CoverGirl put out so long ago. This actually changes color on your lips so it's supposed to be a color that's like appropriate for your skin tone it's really rad and i don't even know i haven't smelled it it's probably not even safer wearing at this point but it's just so cool this one here is a yay let's play the let's make this work game bright lights is the color of this lipstick but i cannot read the name of the brand what does that say Something metallic lights. Forever metallic lights. I don't know. But it's pretty. This is um, an old, 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 old Clinique lipstick. A different grape. I used to get these in samples when I'd go with my mother and my grandmother and my aunts to the Estee Lauder Clinique. Um, they used to have factory sales. There's not much left in this. This is one of my all-time faves. This was, this was my favorite color until Sugar Plum uh, Revlon Lip Butter came along. But I love this color. And my friend Carla was kind enough to send me one of these a few years ago. That's not the one. I have her someplace else. Because um, I never saw it in the store. And I never really... I haven't paid for Clinique since high school, let's be real, because that shit's expensive. And when I was a kid, you know, it was like when you got money for babysitting or whatever, what expenses did you have? I didn't even own a car until I was 19, I think. And my parents bought it for me because it was just an old junker. 
to get me to and from school, but um, I never really had a lot of expenses as a kid, so I could buy, you know, ridiculously overpriced makeup like, like Clinique. But those I always got in the sample bags that they sold at a discount price because they were like the gift with purchase, but because they had extras of them, they would sell them in the factory outlet for like $5 a bag and you'd get so much great stuff. This is from a company called Jouer or Jouer. I don't know how you pronounce it, if it's like French Jouer. But um, I don't remember where I got this, to be honest. And that's just a glossy little thing. Um, Mirage is the color. This is going so slow. I apologize. I'm going to just try to show you quicker without necessarily naming colors because it's taking forever. This is our second level. This is a lot of NYC stuff that was sent to me for promotional purposes that I reviewed for my blog back in the day when I was still writing my blog. This is a Rimmel London Lippy, number 810, one of a kind. We have three NYCs, and these are all called NYC Get It All. Um, was this the New York named colors? It might have been. There was a line they did. Um, fuck. No. Pink, pink digits, like prodigious, I guess, but a really lame play on that word. Um, there were ones that were named after, like, parts of the city, and um, those were really cool, but this is not that. This, I think, says ex Exception Nude. Yeah, these are, like, bad, bad puns. They're stretching here. And then this one is Mocha Amazing. Wah, wah, wah. And we have these two guys here. They are both from Bite. They're both the same. These were both definitely gifts for my birthday or gifts with purchase and they're both in the color chai we have two more nyc's in here we have the expert last matte lip lacquer i think that's what both of these are yep 800 no ho matte nude okay so these are the ones with the references to um boroughs or sections of the city this one's bowery matte berry this is a different one but from that same line this is expert last Chelsea Cherry Blossoms. And then this one is not even open. Smooth Proof. Smooch Proof. Okay, I can read. Um, this one I don't see the name as clearly, so I'm not going to go cuckoo crazy to try to read it. Because it's probably on the bottom and small. No, it's not, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, can't read that one. We've got more NYCs over here. These are three liquid lip shines, and they do not have easy-to-read colors either, I don't think. This one looks like it's pretty much just a clear. Let's see. I want to see, though, because I like the ones that were named after places in the city. Oh, no, these are fruit. Papaya, but not spelled correctly, which is weird. I don't know why they spelled it with an I instead of a Y. Um, this one is passion fruit, and this one is, let's guess, raspberry, maybe? This one is, let's see, why can't I find the color on this one? Um, yeah. Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. Okay, so that one is not related to the, um, the, the fruit flavored or fruit named ones. And then we've got these two Rimmel Londons here. And these are number 800 and 820. 800 under my spell, 820 oh so wicked. And then in this little compartment that you can remove, we have, these I remember getting at the Dollar Tree and thinking they were so cool. These are L'Oreal Hip Color Presso uh, High Intensity Pigment. That's what HIP stands for. This is number 280 in Chic, and you get two separate colors. Let me see, how did this work? Okay, so, oh, I guess you could just combine. You could either combine them or you could just squeeze one or the other and they come out the separate little holes. I just thought these were so cool looking. And then this one is number 182, Trendy. And I will say this as I do in all of my cosmetics videos, I have a lot of old makeup. I am not recommending that you use old makeup. I know there are guidelines as to how long you should keep your makeup before you toss it. Do as I say, not as I do. Check your makeup, use your own best judgment, smell it, give it a good once over. I personally will use makeup as long as it continues to smell and look unaltered. 
if there's any kind of discoloration, if there's any kind of an odd scent, I recommend highly that you toss it. And if you want to go by the strict guidelines and toss when appropriate, then I'm certainly behind that too. I just am not that girl because I don't wear makeup that much and I tend to collect it and then not use it and whatever. So that's just my opinion. This is a really, really rad thing that I still have left over made by Caboodles back in the day. It was a lipstick holder with a mirror. I don't know if there's one in it, but this thing was so freaking cool. I wonder where you would ever find one now. There's the mirror. I'm just giving you a peek at it because I don't want to be in it. But you could put a huge lipstick in there. Look at the bottom of that. How cool. You can maybe even put a couple. And then it's just snap shut. I freaking love this thing. I forgot I even had that in there. Then we have this lip palette from Maybelline. This I bought, I'm pretty sure, at the Dollar Tree. And sorry, it's very shiny and reflective. But you get a little brush with all those pretty colors. We have two of these bite again bite beauty or whatever just bite these lip crayons in the color is that say blaze glaze glace glace i'm guessing because i can't freaking see <laughs> then we've got these two guys and they are nyx and i believe these were gifted to me by a friend they are butter glosses and they are in the colors Let's see, this one is Glazed Plum. That makes that easy. And this one doesn't have an easy to read name. Let's see. I'm sorry. Like trying to focus takes up half the time on my videos and I'm so bad at it. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. Um, Ginger Snap. Okay. Then we've got some more NYC products in here. We've got this one, which is... Oh, no, this one is not NYC. This one is another Rimmel London a Color Rush. And the color on this one, of course, isn't large. Um, 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 let's see if we can find it. I can't right now. So we're going to skip that. Uh, then we have two of these. Oh, my gloss. And these are also Rimmel London's. This one is called... Nonstop Glamour number 120, and this is Stay My Rose number 160. Super pretty. Oh, there's three of those actually, which I should have done this one with it. This is really dark for me. Some of these, like I said, will review products that are definitely not my colors. This one is 190 pinup. Okay, no, I actually have two more of those. <laughs> three. No, this, oh yeah, this wasn't, this is one too, but this one's a stay matte, but it's basically, it's the same shape and everything. And this one is a black one, pitch black, which I cannot pull off at all unless it's like Halloween or something. I know some people can do that goth black lip and it looks rad on them. I am not one of those people. Then we've got this one in my eternity, number 260 or 280, 280. And this one is 110, keep a secret. And they're really, really pretty. And I don't remember what I thought of them, if they were sticky or not. I will definitely do reviews on any of these products you would like me to. Just let me know in the comments. This is another Hi, Carrie. But again, I know it's probably Hikari. But, I mean, when do I get to see my name? And it's Hi, Carrie. So it makes me feel good. This is, again, another really not good color for me. I just don't feel like I have the chutzpah to pull off anything remotely resembling a red. I know Taylor Swift is blonde and fair and does it, but I am not. Shocker, Taylor Swift. Okay, this one, yeah, I can't read the color on that either, sorry. And then this one is so super pretty. This one was definitely from an Estee Lauder tour I did a few years back. Uh, my friend Steph got tickets and some several of my friends and I went. And I know I got this there, and this is just a gorgeous gloss. I don't remember if this was in a mystery bag or if it was by itself. It is pure color in star pink. Yeah, star pink shimmer. And you can't read that, but trust me, that's what it says. And how pretty is just the packaging on it? It's so cute. And then, last but not least, because this we already did is this little lip container. And this was from a Estee Lauder Clinique run as well. I got this back in the day in one of those bags. It's got a little mirror in it, it's Clinique, there you go. And you can put your lipstick inside there. 
and it's a little snap. So that, my friends, is it for my lippy caboodle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll move my pants now. And my cat is back, by the way. That's pretty cool. Vivi, are you going to say hi? She's going to cry and meow nonstop the minute I turn off this camera. Vivi, Venus, say hi. Say hi, Vivi. Does she not look like Grumpy Cat? I swear. That face. My daughter just takes after me with that resting bitch face. It's ridiculous. All right. Anyway, guys, that is it for this caboodle. This is my last caboodle. I mean, I have some little, little, little ones, but I don't even know if they have anything in them right now. So they're not really worth doing whole videos on. I do have a sassabi, you guys. Does anybody remember that, like, the redheaded stepchild of caboodles was sassabi? It was another brand that made cosmetic type containers very similar to this plastic and bright colors and stuff. I think I have a Sassabee still in my closet that may have stuff in it. So I will definitely do a video on that. But this is going to be the last Caboodles one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little What's in My Bag series. Um, I may record a video right after this and do an, a legit What's in My Bag of my actual handbag because I'm sitting here anyway. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Jennifer for recommending that I continue with this series. And um, I think Loretta might have asked for that too. I always appreciate suggestions from you guys. I, I want this channel to be something that's, you know, for my enjoyment. I'm not going to lie, but primarily for your enjoyment, of course. So the things that interest you are what I want to record. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys. Say bye, Bivy. Bivy. Viv, say bye. Come here. Say bye. Say bye. It's her little dinosaur. Say bye. <sighs> bye, Vivi.